starting to burn oil out the rear end. Yeah, he's starting to burn oil. Now, for those of you who remember that scene where we actually started smoking pretty bad on Cleveland Rock at Holy Cross, you might also remember this. <laughs> Or maybe even this. Back it up. Oh, there comes the smoke. Go back slow. Brett, you're on the ground. You're good. Shut it off. Shut it off. Shut it off. Turn, it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Damn it. Luke will give a big hand and I have a little hand. Look. You're so tough. So obviously we have had a major issue of our Jeep, more or less oil getting where it shouldn't. When you're at a very extreme incline, at least on the, does the JKs have the same problem? Yes. Okay, so when you're in an extreme incline, more or less what happens is your oil gets to where it shouldn't, ends up pooling where it shouldn't, and it ends up burning out the exhaust. In some situations, it's not a big deal if it's only for a short amount of time, but for those of you who remember watching the Moab video. No, that was Sand Hollow. Oh, Sand Hollow, thank you, yeah. The one at Sand Hollow where we yeah. were at Milt's Mile, and I was actually driving the Jeep, and I got stuck. We were stuck in that position for nearly an hour trying to get off of that rock without destroying our doors. It got to the point where we thought we heard a knock in the motor, and we had to shut everything down. We were terrified we had completely destroyed and Rod knocked our motor. Well, the, the oil was getting into the motor, and it was choking it out, so everything started shaking and running real rough. And yeah. So today, we are doing an install that will finally fix this issue for us. Kevin's in the background. He's so excited. What are we installing today, Kevin? We have UPR products. So we're installing a catch can. An oil Bam. catch can. An oil catch can. So we use these on drift cars a lot, race cars for blow by. This is gonna help with blow by and so engine anyway. So even for those of you who aren't sitting at extreme stupid inclines yeah, like we do that. very often, it's not just for that, but it will extremely help with that as well. Super nice stuff. This, these factory ends. Factory ends. Yeah, so these ends that they have for both sides of it or factory ends, just plug and play. So this, super should nice. a, this should be a super easy install. Literally unplug the old hoses, plug these ones in. Should just take us a yeah. couple minutes, so let's get to it. You ready, Michael? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, there's your catch can itself, and the hoses that come with this are freaking amazing. Look at this. They snap right. in place. That's it. That's it, it's super easy, and to take it off. Push this in, it just has a little bit of movement, and you literally pull straight out. That's. Like, this is good quality stuff. Yeah, this is really nice. That's Look at it. that. This is gonna be such an easy install. And as you can see, it's already got the O-ring and everything in the hose for you, and... So this is the bracket here. They actually give you an Allen head to go ahead and tighten this down. This is the only thing you need to actually install this on the engine. Super, oh. super easy. It's very easy. So the only thing you have to do is hook up the two lines, and we're gonna show you how to do that. Let's show you the inner workings of the catch can real quick. Especially for those of you who may not be familiar with what a catch can is. So this is going to go in line for your PCV system. It's your positive crankcase ventilation system. All your contaminants, oil, fuel, everything that's getting pushed through there gets trapped inside the bottom of here. This is a two-piece filtration system, and right here you can see how there's steel wool in here. This is going to catch the larger particles. This one you don't have to really worry about for quite a while, actually. But, as far as changing out goes. Right, as far as changing it out. So the air is going to enter through here. All the oil and contaminants, the larger particles, get filtered out in this. What's left and remaining that you're going to need to empty is going to be in the often. bottom of this can, and that's going to be every 3,000 miles or so. About every oil change, more or less, right? Correct. Okay. And then your fresh air is going to leave through here and back into your intake system. So we're gonna have Michael show you how to do it from here. <laughs> He's just like standing on top of our Jeep. <laughs> what do we have, a 10 millimeter? 10 millimeter. Take off the engine cover. And yes, for those of you who were curious, Michael was sitting there on our bumper the entire time we were talking. <laughs> so two 10 millimeters and then this slips out. So you're gonna lift up the front of it, slide it towards you. That's gone. Okay, and before we go ahead and install the catch can, I do want to take a moment to, or at least I'll have Michael take a moment to explain to you guys exactly why we're doing this and how we're doing it. So we're gonna replace this hose. This hose comes right here. It goes into the intake plenum, comes down, snakes around, and it comes out of the back side of the passenger side valve cover. And the reason why the catch can does what it does and the JLs and even some JK smoke at high angles is that when you're back there, all that oil's pulling up and instead of draining down in through the engine like it should, it gets pumped up, comes into the intake, 
then goes over the valves and burns off essentially it goes into the combustion chamber so what we're doing is we put one hose here that goes into the dirty side of the catch can filters it we plug in another hose back into the intake side and that's the clean air that's going to go back in and then we will eliminate all the oil pumping all right so if you're ever at an extreme angle and it starts pumping that oil that oil is going to go into the catch can yep now if that catch can if you're at an extreme angle long enough that catch can fills up it will then start pumping back into yeah. the engine if you're at an angle for that long running you You've got have other problems. To worry yeah. About. Yeah. Other than draining it every 3,000 miles, anytime you do a wheeling trip that you're at extreme angles, I would check it after mm -hmm. those wheeling trips. Just to make sure that it's not getting too full. Correct. Yeah. 3,000 miles is just going to be a normal interval. We need to check it after every wheeling trip. Yeah, basically. Right. Yeah. You'll just unscrew <laughs> it and check it. Okay. Let's All right. Install. Let's go ahead and do this install. So we're unplugging this hose here. Put just the gray piece down, pull it out, and. Right here, the back side of the passenger side valve cover. There you go. Yep. Just like that. Panel popper and pop this little grommet thing out of this bracket. And there is hose and just number one. Snake it out. That's it. That's all there is. Nah. Nah, nah. <laughs> what are you struggling with, buddy? I mean, it's pretty easy unless you're Michael. Yep. <laughs> and again, remember that the hoses that are provided with this catch hand completely replace those factory hoses so you don't right. need them anymore. You do have a short hose and you have a long hose. The short hose is actually going to plug back here into the back of the valve cover and you'll have the 45 degree angle plug on the back of the valve cover. This 90 degree angle plug will go onto the catch can itself. So let's go ahead and get that installed. And once you have the end of that hose plugged into the back of the valve cover, we need to install the catch can. So that bottom screw that Kevin was talking about, we're just gonna take that off pass it over and it screws oh, in tough. right there easy enough so you're going to go ahead and put the washer on top of the plastic the bolt through the bottom you want the allen what can i have the paul how about greg can i call the paul he's stupid so you have the washer on top the bolt <laughs> through the bottom use your allen wrench to get it started maybe oh can he do it oh oh oh, oh no where to go way to go guys way to go <laughs> <laughs> all you man all you Careful. normally for this part i would suggest letting someone with the daintier fingers no. <laughs> oh no i almost had it and oh did I, you almost get it yeah and then i dropped it further oh my god well there we go i got it oh look at you look at me look at you look at me i did it Woo. Unless you're us, this is a super Look. simple, quick, okay. easy install. Super easy. Actually, Kevin found that pretty yeah, quick. Yeah. We'll find that out. Yeah. Let that. me see how easy. It's already going. Look at that. <laughs> so one bolt, we install the catch can. Oh my God. Look at my hair. <laughs> what the fuck? It's that dry Colorado yeah. weather. <laughs> All right. Okay, so now once you have the catch can on, <laughs> the ninety, the on ninety the degree inlet yep. of the catch can, perfect. Clip and the out, which you can tell is always marked by this silver tip here. The out is going to take your long hose, and that has just two forty-five degree angles, so don't got to worry about really which end is which. But that will actually feed under your intake here. Yeah. There you go. So you'll feed that underneath your intake, 145 on Clip. the out. I can do this one. Bam. Way to go. And boom. Look at that. Look at that. See? It's oh, like yeah. it was meant to be. With there. our yeah. minds combined. <laughs> <laughs> With Kevin looking at photos. Yeah, you didn't really do much. At least I was filming. There wasn't much to do. There wasn't much to do. No, it's fine. This is... Michael likes being on his knees, so he's there. And I'm just. Uh... <laughs> All right, let's put the engine cover back on. There you go. So if you do service your own Jeep, you remove the bottom of the catch can, which you do whenever, ever, like we were saying, every 3,000 miles Jeep. or more often if you do crazy stuff like we do. And, and then, if you service your own Jeep, just got to remove the bottom of that catch can in order to get to the oil that's filter. That's actually kind of genius because then you, you have to pull that anyway. So it makes you. Oh, yeah. It kind of forces you to change that out during an oil change anyways. Okay, pretty cool. Smart. That looks pretty clean, actually. Yeah. It legit looks like kind of factory. Oh. So these actually come in a bunch of different colors. We got the black, but they do come in stainless, blue, red, 
I don't know if they do the green, lime purple, green yet. rainbow? Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> but they do all come in different colors. We did go with the black for a clean install look, but... Yeah, it looks factory, like it's a factory component. That almost. should be factory, honestly. It really should. This should come on almost every single vehicle nowadays. It wouldn't meet their functional criteria, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it may help with emissions. So yeah, but for those of you who kind of wanted the cliff notes, that hose basically just got replaced with two hoses and a catch can, which filters out all of your nonsense and your dirty particles and your grimy crap you don't want. And now when we turbo it, we already have a catch can for the turbo kit. Yes. Yes. Mm -mm. Yes. Shh. Yes. Encourage it. <laughs> All right, so there you guys have it. Like we said, super easy install. Don't lose your bolts and your engine bay. And it has massive benefits, not just for, again, people that wheel like us, where you're at extreme inclines for extended period of times, potentially, but also just your normal everyday driving. So I'll leave a link for the catch can in the description below. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Oh, and we will see oh cool. god and we will see you guys next time love you ah. god you're like way off on this yeah, yeah. bye we'll get better at it we'll no, get better <laughs>